Okay, today I am building a crab trap, and here is a diagram of the final product. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I used. These are the tools. There is an electrical crimper, and you can use whatever will crimp for you. And I use this 0.065 inch weed whacker cord, and this is what it looks like when it's finally you know, prepared because it comes out of the thing in a curve. It's all curled up. Now, these are the crimps and they are 1 16th inch. So here are the measurements of everything. You're gonna wanna cut that line to 15.5 inches. The cord is 0 0.065 and then those crimps are 1 16th. So this is straightening out the cord, the line, uh, whatever, you know, once you take it out of the package, you're gonna pour boiling water on it and that does two things it straightens it out but it also makes it a little bit soft and more springy so you're going to want it to be a little springy and that's why this is kind of important and how long you keep it on um well, yeah, i don't know five minutes something like that it's not real scientific uh you just do it twice so making the actual snares you're going to want to put a crimp on and you just loop it back around and make a loop like so you just make sure you know it's kind of flush there you don't want too much hanging over now i made the loop too big here you can see it's nice and springy but it won't stay so you won't actually snare your crab here it is a little too small uh, and you can see it's not gonna work right either it's not gonna pull close so even though if you did snare it it would stay it's too tight so then you just fiddle with it and make sure, you know, you test it out a lot every time before you crimp them. You know, don't just eyeball it because you, you want to make sure you don't mess up because then you're going to have to redo the whole snare. And, you know, sh the whole process of straightening is kind of, eh. So you just crimp it twice, maybe three times, and that's kind of what you want. You want it to stay but be springy. Now, the cage part, this is the template for the cage here. Uh, it's a door and a cage. You're going to need these pliers. I use jewelry pliers because they're a little rounded uh, on, the <laughs> on the corner on the edges. And then I also use these snips that can snip the steel wire. Uh, and I use this, like, I don't know, half an inch, something like that. Uh, and then you just bend it and it's kind of a pain to bend this because we I used a 10 by 12 um, Grid and it's pretty tiny uh, Which is good because it's light so you can feel the crabs when they get on the trap But it also holds a lot of bait uh, For its tiny size so you just be very careful when you bend over these prongs um, You don't want to snap them off because then the cage is going to be unusable so now there's basically just assembly and you want to make sure that you orient it correctly. So I start with the lead line and I put that on the top. You can see the trap hinges on the bottom. So once you get the lead line up there, you just kind of crimp it and there you go. And eventually you're going to put your weight on, but I save that till last just because it makes it easier to put the snares on. So you loop them through. You should already have your snares done and you just arrange them to minimize the chance of error. Uh, because every time you make a mistake on it, you have to redo the component and it is kind of time consuming and annoying. So I sped it way up because it's a really repetitive little process. You just, along the bottom of the trap, you make little loops and you put it on there so they can still kind of have some maneuverability, but they are not huge, you know, so you just kind of put them up there to your own discretion and they're supposed to look ultimately like the diagram. So I'm almost done here. I'm crimping the last one. And, you know, once once that's done, you attach the the weight and uh, you know, play with the play with the length, you know? Um it's it's whatever. But that's the final product. Pretty nice. And then, you know, here is a crab that we caught with it. So it works.